So bef before we embark on answering the questions, I want you to understand something in the reactivity series. In the reactivity series, we have potassium as the most reactive metal, followed by sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. Then we have an animetal carbon. So carbon is very reactive than zinc. And then my concern is hydrogen. Hydrogen is more reactive than iron, than lead, than copper, and uh, mercury, silver, and gold. Therefore, what it means, the reason why I'm showing you this is because you cannot react, for example, HCl plus iron to form iron 2 chloride. You cannot react directly lead plus nitric acid, nitric acid to form lead nitrate. If you are asked, starting with lead, uh, describe how to prepare lead nitrate. There is no way you are going to say that using the add uh, nitric acid to lead. Why? Because lead cannot lead ions cannot displace the hydrogen here because lead is less reactive than hydrogen. You understand that? That so we are not going to use, therefore in this case you must react lead with oxygen to form lead oxide and then react with nitric acid. Now you must make it an oxide. Very important. Therefore, this reactive series is important for you to understand that all metals that are above hydrogen, you can react with hydro uh, with acids directly and form the salts. You can react them with the acids directly and form the salts you want to form. But metals below metals below hydrogen iron lead copper you cannot react uh, with acids directly to form salts because the metals cannot displace the hydrogen in the acid because they are less reactive than hydrogen you are provided with solid potassium hydrogen carbonate describe how a solid or sample of potassium nitrate can be prepared. So we are preparing potassium nitrate. First ask yourself, is potassium nitrate soluble or insoluble? It is soluble. Therefore, we can react directly nitric acid with potassium hydrogen carbonate to form potassium nitrate. So you start by add excess potassium hydrogen carbonate into a beaker containing dilute into a beaker containing dilute nitric acid nitric fiber acid nitric 5 acid. So because you have added potassium hydrogen carbonate in excess, you have to filter so that you can remove the excess. So the next one is to filter. Filter to obtain excess potassium hydrogen carbonate as the residue. Another term here we need to understand is the filtrate and the residue. When you are doing filtration, uh, whatever that is remaining in the filter paper is called the residue. The solution that gets uh, over or that goes through the filter paper is what we call the filtrate. So it is important to understand these terms when you are preparing salts. So filter to obtain excess potassium hydrogen carbonate as the residue. The, as the residue. And then now we want... Uh, the solid. So we have now to evaporate the filtrate, which is potassium nitrate. The filtrate is potassium nitrate, of course. So we are going to evaporate that. So evaporate. Evaporate the filtrate. The filtrate. To saturation. 
to saturation to saturation and allow a saturated solution to cool to form crystals so by doing this you would have obtained the solid uh, sample of potassium nitrate next one starting with copper describe how a uh, pure mark that sample of copper two carbonate uh, can be prepared question one you ask yourself is copper two carbonate the salt that you are supposed to prepare soluble or insoluble remember all carbonates are insoluble except potassium carbonate mm, ammonium carbonate and sodium carbonate so since this one is not sodium it is not potassium it's not ammonia it means it is insoluble so this one is insoluble so we need to know the method we are going to use then obviously we are going to use the double decomposition so we are starting with lead uh, sorry we are starting with copper you cannot react copper directly to get copper to carbonate therefore since um, copper is below the reactivity series you cannot react copper with hydrogen with uh, a nitric acid to form um, copper 2 nitrate we need copper 2 nitrate but you cannot react copper plus nitric acid why in the reactivity series copper is below hydrogen therefore what we do you heat this one to form the carbonate so heat copper metal in air to obtain to obtain copper to oxide very correct so once now you have copper to oxide now you add warm nitric acid because actually oxides are insoluble therefore you need to warm the acid next one is to add add excess copper to oxide to warm dilute to warm dilute nitric acid this acid could be in a container in a beaker so in or you can say in a beaker in a beaker right so what have you made you have made now copper nitrate we need the copper nitrate first we need that copper nitrate so since we have in excess copper two oxide we need to filter to obtain the copper nitrate only so beaker and filter and filter to obtain lead not lead but to obtain copper to obtain copper to nitrate to obtain copper to nitrate now we have copper to nitrate what do we do with copper to nitrate uh, since this one is a solution since this copper to nitrate is a solution we need a soluble carbonate so that when we react we mix the two they will interchange the anions and the cations to form lead uh, to form copper two carbonate to form copper two carbonate therefore we have now the filtrate to obtain this as as the filtrate So next to the filtered to the filtrate 
add sodium carbonate remember sodium carbonate is soluble add sodium carbonate solution right now up to this form we will precipitate out copper carbonate to precipitate to precipitate copper to carbonate copper carbonate to precipitate copper carbonate now the white precipitate will be copper carbonate then what do we do because we want a solid copper carbonate we filter the solution therefore next is filter to obtain copper carbonate as the residue as a residue copper carbonate as a residue because we were told the pure you need to wash it then wash the residue with distilled water with distilled water and then we dry and then dry and dry between filter paper so up to that point you have prepared a uh, copper to carbonate a sample of water is suspected to contain the salvate ions describe an experiment that can be carried out to determine the presence of the sulfate uh i think this one this question is somehow misplaced because it's not part of the preparation of salts so but we can i can answer that so how can we this, uh, tell somebody that this solution we have contains the sulfate so what you do you add add three drops of barium nitrate of barium nitrate to if it is a test tube to a test tube to a test tube containing the sample sample of water that is suspected to contain the solvate of water then followed by you follow that followed by about five centimeters cube of tomorrow nitric acid nitric five nitric five acid so what would happen if a white ppt precipitate is formed is if a white precipitate is formed insoluble which does not dissolve insoluble in the acid then sulfate 2 minus sulfate ions are present that's how you confirm for sulfate ions A mixture contains ammonium chloride, copper 2 oxide, and sodium chloride. Describe how each of the substances can be obtained from a mixture. Now, this is separation, uh, but these are salts. That's why this question is here. Remember, these are salts. So, how can you separate this salt? First, you need to understand that which salts are soluble. This one is soluble. This one is soluble. This one is soluble, but also this one is a, a supplement. A substance which sublimes changes it directly from a solid to a gas so how will you separate I think that's why this question comes here how can you separate these three each of them to obtain each of them without losing any of them 
So let me give you the procedure on what to do. You put this mixture in a beaker. So place the mixture in a beaker. Covered with a watch, a watch grass, watch grass containing containing cold water. You heat the mixture, heat the mixture until. No further change. So what will happen? Ammonia, ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride, subprimes with subprime, subprimes, and the condenses. And the condense and the condenses on on the cold water grass. The next now we are left with we are left with copper two oxide and sodium chloride. But we know sodium chloride is soluble, copper two oxide is insoluble. Therefore, we dissolve this in water. So dissolve, dissolve the remaining, or add water, or dissolve the remaining mixture in water, in water. You dissolve the remaining mixture in water. So sodium chloride will dissolve dissolves and copper 2 oxide does not copper 2 oxide does not so what do you do next you filter 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 the mixture to get you filter the mixture to get uh, copper 2 oxide as the residue and sodium chloride as the filtrate as the filtrate now next one now we want to get the salt the solid from the filtrate sodium chloride you evaporate 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 the filtrate. Evaporate the filtrate to saturation. To saturation. To saturation. And allow the saturated solution. The saturated solution. To form, to form crystals. So, these crystals are sodium chloride. You will get them. We have gotten this residue, and we have and this, and by that, we have separated the three salts, each of them, without losing any of them. Iron 2 oxide was found to be contaminated with copper 2 sulfate. Describe how a pure sample of iron 2 oxide can be obtained. Uh, this one is your home work. So please do that. And if you get a problem, you will always consult me. It is always free. I don't charge anything for you to consult me, even if it is uh, at night. It doesn't, I don't touch anything, so you can, well, if you have a problem, you will always find me. My contacts are always there.
starting with sodium metal describe how a sample of crystals of sodium hydrogen carbonate may be prepared uh, we are starting with sodium metal you want to prepare sodium hydrogen carbonate so first thing you do you react sodium carbon uh, sodium metal with water to form sodium hydrogen carbonate therefore uh, react sodium metal with water to obtain to obtain sodium hydroxide to put to obtain sodium hydroxide so what will you do with the sodium hydroxide obtained you bubble bubble purple is to pass a gas bubble uh, into the solution bubble into the solution bubble into the solution excess carbon 4 oxide gas excess carbon 4 oxide gas to obtain to obtain sodium hydrogen carbonate but we are asking to obtain crystals so after now we have this solution we need to evaporate so evaporate evaporate the evaporate the solution evaporate the solution to 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 saturation to saturation to form crystals so once you have evaporated the solution uh, crystals are going to be formed and we have obtained the crystals of sodium hydrogen carbonate Oh, there is three here, sorry. There is three here, sodium carbonate. Starting with the copper tannings, describe how a sample of copper to sulfate crystals can be prepared. First, we ask ourselves, is copper to sulfate soluble or insoluble? Copper to sulfate is a soluble salt. The question is, why can't we react Cu plus sulfuric acid to get us copper 2 sulfate? And that story is over. Why can't we do this? The reason is simple. The reason is this. In the reactivity series, hydrogen is above copper meaning hydrogen is more reactive than copper there is no way you can react there's no way copper ions will displace hydrogen in the acid to form the salt you want because this the copper ions is less reactive than hydrogen ion therefore we need to now make this copper to form an oxide very important that is the reason why you can so you heat copper metal heat copper metal in air to get copper 2 oxide to get copper 2 oxide now then you add dilute add dilute sulfuric acid add dilute sulfuric acid to the copper to oxide to the copper to oxide uh, to form so add dilute sulfuric acid to the copper to form copper sulfate now we have the copper sulfate 
Then what are we going to do with the copper 2 sulfate solution? Filter excess copper 2 oxide and evaporate the filtrate evaporate the filtrate to saturation to saturation allow the saturated solution allow the saturated solution to cool and form crystals allow to cool uh, to form crystals of copper to sulfate from crystals of copper to sulfate we have prepared that quickly let us look at the next question starting with barium carbon and nitrate solution describe how a pure sample of barium carbonate uh, can be prepared so we are preparing barium carbonate that's where our interest is barium carbonate Question, is barium carbonate soluble or insoluble? It is insoluble. So if it is insoluble, then you must always understand that that one will always involve a double uh, decomposition uh, kind of a reaction. So quickly dissolve sodium carbonate. Or we want we are starting with the barium nitrate okay so we can start in a different way add water not add water so we have sodium we have barium this is the solution we have so let us add straight add barium nitrate add barium nitrate solution into a beaker containing into a beaker containing sodium carbonate sodium carbonate solution filter to obtain barium carbonate as a residue wash the residue with distilled water and then dry the solid between filter paper between filter pa papers remember if we are preparing insoluble salt we don't evaporate we don't evaporate to obtain an insoluble salt. Nothing. We only evaporate to obtain crystals of a soluble salt. Soluble salt. So what is happening here? We have barium nitrate. We are uh, adding sodium carbonate. So what happens is that the cation this side will take the anion this side. And then the anion this side will take the cation this side and they will form barium carbonate plus 
sodium nitrate like that and this one is a solid this one is an aqueous 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 and this is the white precipitate and this is the solid we want to form describe our sample of lead to sulfate ammonium chloride and sodium chloride can be obtained from a mixture of the three uh, that's one is homework do that if any problem always contact whatsapp i will always respond to your problems without any delay starting with solid with solid chlor uh, with solid sodium chloride describe our pure sample of lead to chloride can be prepared i want also to give this one to you as an homework this one we have already done it let me look at number this the next one describe how the following reagents can be used to prepare lead to sulfate lead to sulfate so we are preparing lead to sulfate but we have been given as samples we are starting with solid potassium sulfate we are starting with lead carbonate and then dilute nitric acid and then distilled water so we have been given the reagents to use we are preparing lead sulfate lead sulfate is insoluble so if it is insoluble the reaction is double decomposition there's no another if we are preparing an insoluble reaction uh, we must use uh, the precipitation reaction we are precipitating out uh, a white precipitate so first let us dissolve the potassium sulfate in this water so dissolve the potassium sulfate in distilled water to form potassium sulfate solution the next is to react uh, to react the carbonate with what's carbon the lead carb react red carbonate with dilute nitric five acid to get lead nitrate now we have lead nitrate solution and we have potassium sulfate solution what do we do we mix the two solutions mix the two solutions mix the potassium sulfate solution and lead nitrate solution to precipitate to precipitate lead sulfate to precipitate lead sulfate the next one now we since we have formed lead sulfate which is an insoluble salt we filter filter uh, filter mm. filter to obtain filter the mixture filter the mixture to do what to obtain to obtain lead sulfate as a residue as the residue as the residue and as the residue then what is next because we wanted is it p1 we have used uh, prepare, uh, to prepare the two sulfate so we could there's no need of washing we can leave at that point so filter the mixture to obtain that sulfate as the residue and that is all we stop at that point if 
if we are asked that to prepare pure, we need to wash it. If we are asked to give a dry solid, we need to dry it. But here we, do, we are not asked to dry it. So we can stop there. You are provided with water, lead carbonate, dilute nitric acid, solid sodium chloride. Describe a very clear step by step on how to prepare lead chloride homework. Do it and I will mark for you. No problem. Thank you for your time.